Do you love exploring historical places? Well, if you live in the Florida Panhandle or plan to visit anytime soon, I have the top 10 things to do for history lovers. I'm Megan, the Executive Assistant at the Whittemore Group at EXP Realty, which is located in Fort Walton Beach right here on the Florida Panhandle. If you don't already know, the Florida Panhandle is rich with history. There are lots of really cool places that you can go to and learn about past events that happened right here in our own backyard. The Florida Panhandle has a huge military presence. We love our military. So a lot of our history is entwined with military events. So that brings me to our first stop, Fort Pickens. Fort Pickens is located on Pensacola Beach, Florida. It was built in 1834 to defend Pensacola Bay and the Pensacola Navy Yard and Depot from any foreign attack. Today, you can explore the fort, visit the Discovery Center, go to the beach, fish off the pier, or even camp in the campground. I have links to all of these places' websites in our corresponding blog post, so I will post the link to our blog in the description below so you can check that out to get more information about these places like their hours, entrance fees, and that sort of thing. Next stop, Fort Barrancas. Fort Barrancas is also located on Pensacola Beach, Florida. It was built in 1844 and is located on a bluff overlooking the Pensacola Bay. Today, you can explore the fort and view the exhibits in the visitor center. Our next historical place is Fort McCree. Don't worry, they're not all forts. <laughs> fort McCree was located on Perdido Key, Florida. It was built in 1839 to help defend the Pensacola Bay. In November of 1861, Fort McCree experienced heavy artillery fire and bombardment as the Union, which was nearby in Pensacola, holding Fort Pickens, fired at the Confederates who were in the Navy shipyard. By the early 1900s, what little was left of Fort McCree was in crumbles. Today, nothing visible remains of the original fort. However, coastal defense structures were later built in the area and are often referred to as Old Fort McCree. Our last fort worth checking out is actually in Alabama, but it's a short drive from the Florida Panhandle. That fort is Fort Morgan. It was built in 1834 to defend the city of Mobile and Mobile Bay. Today, you can tour the fort, go to the beach, go fishing, or bird watch. Stop five on the historical tour is the Pensacola Lighthouse located on Naval Air Station Pensacola. It was built in 1859 so that ships entering the Pensacola Bay could see the harbor. Today, you can climb the lighthouse tower, go on a ghost hunt, or view the exhibits inside the museum. Please note that this is on a military base, so civilians, please double check their website for the security gate procedures. I know you will definitely need your driver's license, but you might wanna double check and see if there's anything else you might need to get on base. Also located on the Naval Air Station Pensacola is the National Naval Aviation Museum. It's the world's largest naval aviation museum According to their website, you can see more than 150 beautifully restored aircraft representing the Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard aviation. These historic and one-of-a-kind aircraft are displayed both inside the museum's nearly 350,000 square feet of exhibit space and outside on its 37-acre grounds. Next stop, Historical Pensacola. Historic Pensacola is located near downtown and it has several different museums and cottages that you can explore. I remember taking field trips here as a kid and I thought it was so cool because they would put on demonstrations and they would let us make candles and I love history so I geeked out on that. <laughs> Stop number eight is located not far from the Florida Panhandle in Mobile, Alabama at the USS Alabama. This battleship began its journey in 1943 during World War II first in the North Atlantic, then the South Pacific Seas. In 1965, the ship was opened as a memorial park in Mobile, Alabama. Today, you can tour the USS Alabama, explore the on-site submarine USS Drum, look at the tanks, artillery, and aircraft located throughout the park, and visit the park memorials. The next place you should check out is the Coffeen Nature Preserve located in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. 
Prior to World War II, the U.S. Army and Air Corps took over and leased this land for $1 per year from the owner to use as a testing site for the JB-2 missile. Still remaining today are launch tracks, bunkers, and some of the military's housing. All right, last stop is the Heritage Park and Cultural Center located in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. According to their website, the center aims to preserve, interpret, and present the prehistory and history of Fort Walton Beach community and the Northwest Florida area from 12,000 BC through the 1950s. All right, well, those are our top 10 places to check out in the Florida Panhandle and surrounding areas <laughs> if you love history. If you need recommendations of other places to check out in this area, please feel free to comment below or reach out to us and we would love to give you some insight. Thanks for watching.